Hi, this is Glenda. Um, just another tiny share again today. Um, and again, I'm sorry, it's for the scan and cut people. Um, I was looking at a, a tool that's been around for a couple of years the other day that does um, ribbon borders, uh, sort of for ribbon weaving. And I sort of looked at what it did and thought, I bet our electronic cutters could do that. And so I've come up with a file and uh, this is what it does. So it cuts these shapes um, and two of them are designed for half inch ribbon and one for quarter inch. And what comes out, this is the wide scallop. Uh, so it's a very pale colour ribbon I've used so it's not showing up terribly well and there's not very much of it there. But that's the wide scallop. And this is the sort of leaf pattern down both sides and uh, this black line at the here is the um, small scallop for the narrow ribbon. So I'll show you what I, I did. Um, they also had um, a little tool for threading your ribbon. So this is a piece of packaging and I've folded it in half and you're going to angle it from the folded side away that's just waste. And then you do the same thing so that you've got a bit of a point on the folded edge. Like that. And some double sided tape. Take off the backing. Oh, try to. And then you oh buy it across the room. Um, and you're gonna fold it in half and sandwich the ribbon in between it. Preferably straight. Um, and you've got a little tool just like they used on the the video. So uh, then you're just going to come up and thread your ribbon. There's a lot of punches you can do with this width. Um, the ribbon threading was sort of popular a little while ago and there are a number of punches that were just slots for doing it. And I don't know, it's sort of another one of these things we've forgotten about a bit. This is a bit awkward, this big piece of card, but if you were doing a scrapbook page it would have probably have the same issues, so, but it was a lot easier on my little cards I made. And it's good for using up your scraps of ribbon. This particular one is like a rayon ribbon and it's probably prone to tangling it seems. You want to try and avoid the tangling as you go. Um, then you've got your, your scallops. I'm not sure if they should have been a bit closer together. I fiddled with it a bit, but um, it's not terribly hard to do if you want to do your own file like this. Um, I obviously have a link to this file and you can download it. Uh, what it how it comes is each of these groups like this will be grouped together um, so you won't be able to break it apart but the end one will be a single so if you want to do if you want to make it longer or you want to do just um, a short one so that you only wanted two or three you can just use that one and duplicate it so you know on that one they're a group and that's a single and they're a group and that's a single so it should let you play with it a little bit my favorite is definitely the leaf um, but um, that's what I've done and it sort of I wasn't about to buy the tool. Um, yeah, I, I either just never saw it or dismissed it as not needing it because it's quite expensive in Australia as usual. Um, and it, it's like you have to buy six pieces at $30 if you wanted all the shapes. Um, not going to happen. But um, yeah, have a look at your punches and um, revive ribbon weaving because a, a lot of them lend themselves to it. Um, and um, Thank you.